The biggest fights of the year, Garcia Fortuna, and this is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled in the super lightweight division. It's brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. This fight in association with Samson Boxing. And of course, sponsored by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. Bet online, your online sportsbook experts. Uncle Bud's Hemp and CBD. Relax, recover, and reset. And masculine, it's mentality. Don't be a man, be the man. And Jim Shark, the official apparel of Ryan Garcia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to bring up our fighters. We introduce to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Bringing a professional record of 37 wins, three defeats, one draw with 26 big wins coming by way of knockout. The former WBA featherweight world champion, former WBA super featherweight world champion, the former IBF lightweight champion of the world from La Romana de la República Dominicana. Here is Javier El Abejón Fortuna. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. 22 professional fights. He is perfect. 22 wins, no defeats, 18 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated former WBC interim lightweight world champion. He is the fighting pride of Victorville, California. Here is King Rai, Ryan Garcia. Javier Fortuna first on the scale, former three, three division world champion. Fortuna 139.8, 139.8. Again, tickets are available, access.com. You can stop by the crypto.com arena here in LA. Get yourself in the door for the Battle of Los Angeles. It's going down tomorrow night at crypto.com arena. Of course, live worldwide on the zone. And he is primed and ready to go, ready to get back into the ring. The rising superstar, the super lightweight division, undefeated, high desert native. Here he is, Ryan Garcia. One forty even. One forty even. Main event action tomorrow night brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions in association with Samson Boxing, bringing you the battle in Los Angeles. Words have been exchanged. These two do not like each other. And tomorrow night, we will find out who will be the man in the super lightweight division, Fortuna and Garcia. Your main event tomorrow night, ladies oh and gentlemen. Oh my God, a little respect there? Okay. Okay, what is he see. giving him now? What, what did he just give him? I don't know. These fighters are giving each other gifts I, now. I want to know, I wanna know <laughs> what did he hand him. I well, know well, we'll, we'll chop it up with Ryan a little later, so we'll ask him what, what that whole thing was about. But let's talk about the weigh-in. Yeah. Eddie, Ryan always looks in shape. Yeah. He looks in better shape than I've ever seen him before. And Javier Fortuna looks in less of a shape. Maybe it's the weight. Can I say something about that, though? Sure. All right, you're in, you're in shape at 140 pounds, right? Meaning no fat to lose. Because, look, he looks ripped. 
how do you go back to 140? You lose muscle 135. now. 135, rather. Right. You lose muscle now. That's the, not, not, that not, I don't like. Not necessarily. I mean, he's been at 135 and he's still been. But he's never been 140 and ripped is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, yeah I've never seen him in that kind of shape. Like he looks, he looks in incredible shape. And I'm with Barack here. I don't see how you take five pounds off that body. If you it's do, it's, it's, it's muscle. It's crazy. It's crazy. No, Whereas Fortuna looks like he really should be fine at 130. <laughs> I'm not even saying 135. I'm saying 130. He's but. A, He's a little small. What I will say about Fortuna, and we haven't given him credit for, maybe you don't take him credit for this, he's the master of the dark arts, you know? Yeah. Elbows, headbutts, low blows. Ryan has to be careful of those type of things. Ryan's not really been in there with someone that comes and really wants to make it dirty. Well, so well, it's been quite clean with Ryan. He might have to be careful of stuff like that. Yeah, well, I mean, let, let's go to Broder to find out if he feels that comfortable at, at 140 over with Javier Fortuna. And Javier, you handed Ryan something. What did you give him? Eh, le di un reloj que se trajo junto con el mío ayer y me di cuenta en un, en un video que era de él y, y me dirigí a mi promotor y a mi entrenador y se lo entregué. Oh, yesterday my watch got caught on to his and I noticed that later after when I saw it in a video, my manager and my trainer told me to give it back to him today. So you gave him back his watch? Sí, se lo devolví para traer un Cartier. ¿En un qué? Cartier. Okay, I gave it back to him in a little a pack. Un, 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 un reloj Cartier. Oh, okay. No, no entiendo que, que oh, Cartier? Yeah. Oh, he gave me a Cartier watch. All right. I, I thought it was a bag. No, it was a, the brand. Okay. Now, yesterday, you were in each other's faces. Yesterday, you were saying, I'm going to knock him out. Yesterday, it was the boogeyman. Today, a lot of respect. What happened? No, 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 nada. Simplemente respeto por la... Por uno es un profesional y acto como profesionalmente y... Nada, fue, fue, eso fue antes del pesaje cuando uno tiene siempre la adrenalina. No, it was nothing. It's professional. I have to act as a professional and hear it the way, and you know, there's adrenaline, but it was nothing. Yesterday you said you're going to knock him out. How can you knock out Ryan Garcia? Ya verán, ya verán cómo va a pasar todo. You will see how everything is going to happen. All right, a lot of confidence, mucha confianza. Eh, mi entrenamiento van a hablar solo allá arriba del ring. My training will speak for itself in the ring. All right, well, thank you. Good luck. Buena suerte. Javier Fortuna representing the Dominican Republic. A lot of respect between the two here at the final weigh-in. Let's go back to Akin Barak, who have a special guest.